here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's do this, okay? Let's do this. Another week, another Gore's Recent Pickups. What's up, everyone? And this time, I have quite a bit to show you. And I mean, not not the most stuff I've ever had on a Gore's Recent Pickups, but a nice amount of stuff and a nice variation of stuff here. Uh, I got eBay stuff. I got GameStop stuff. I got a limited run games purchase. I got yard sale stuff. I even got stuff from you, other YouTubers out there, okay, that, that sent me stuff because they're cool, okay, and you might have already seen those mystery unboxings before, but if you haven't, and you know, they don't got that many views, I'm going to put them in here because I want I want to I want to shout them out a little bit more, okay, here's one of them right there, look at that, you're wondering why this post, this uh, picture of me is up there, because, why not, so, let's get to it, okay, I have no idea where to start because, again, like I said, I have a nice, uh, nice um uh, variety of stuff here uh you know what? let's do yard sale stuff usually i save the the yard sale stuff for either last or you know sometimes there's only yard sale stuff but uh usually i save yard sale stuff for i would say last at least some of it uh because that's usually the best stuff but this time i actually didn't get too much stuff at yard sales that were I don't know, really worth anything. You know, not, not that I didn't get a good deal. I got a really good deal. But nothing too crazy. Nothing to write home about. Okay? First place I went to when I went to yard sales was this kind of like this church community thing uh, where they have a bunch of stuff in there. And um, it was it's cool. I go there sometimes. I actually went there a few weeks ago and I picked up uh, a couple DVDs. I forgot which ones I bought from there. Um, it was, it was actually a few months ago. Did I say a few weeks? I meant a few months ago. It was like back in June. Um, and I actually missed a DVD there that was actually worth quite a bit of money. And I was like, ah, oh, there's no way it'll be there when I go back now, like three months later. Uh, but luckily it actually was. And, um, you know, let's start off with that DVD. The first DVD I have here, it's an out of print, uh, DVD for a animated movie called, a Don Bluth anima animated movie called... Rock, what is it called? Rock a doodle, with this chicken guy and this chicken girl, and they, uh, this is a little cat guy. I don't know. I never saw this, um, but it's supposed to be not very good. A lot of Don Bluth movies are uh, hit and miss, I guess. Uh, some of them are classics, of course, and some of them are not. <laughs> and this is one of them that is probably not. I'm assuming, um, even though I. You know, I don't know, I, I've seen clips of this. I, I've seen, like, stuff like the Nostalgia Critic Review. And, you know, I mean, they don't look too terrible. Uh, they have, like, live-action segments that... That's probably the stuff that I wouldn't give a shit about. But, um, you know, it's a nice-looking copy of rock -a doodle It goes for around 25 30 bucks. Got it for a dollar. Didn't have any uh, inserts, but I don't think it actually did. Um, which confuses me why it had this this thing. Every, every copy I see on eBay doesn't have this anything here, so I'm assuming... Uh, the disc itself looks pretty good. For a dollar, I had to get it. It was there a few months ago. I was like, ah, I should go get it. But they're only open Saturdays, and usually Saturdays I don't go out to do yard sales. Usually it's either Friday or Sunday. For some reason, I don't go Saturdays. Um, but there you go. Rock a doodle. That's pretty cool. That's, pre that's pretty cool. All right, next, for $4, I picked up this box set. I thought this would be worth a little bit, but I saw on Amazon it's, like, worth maybe 15 bucks. So, eh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have got this. Maybe I'll, uh... I'm actually going to a community yard sale in a couple weeks. I'm actually going there to sell stuff. I'll, pro I'll probably just sell this at there. Maybe I'll sell it for the same price just to get you know my money back. But um, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It, they're probably really shitty movies, but they might be kind of fun. Uh, this is a box set called the Best of Sci-Fi DVD. And it's a four-pack. It comes with Cyborg 2, Death Machine. That sounds cool. Uh, Evolver. Yeah, Evolver and Solar Crisis. Each one worth like four or five bucks. I thought maybe some of them were out of print DVDs or something. So I was like, okay, I can't find anything about it on my phone. And I want to get the hell out of here. It was like the last thing I looked at, really. Um, so I was like, yeah, you know what? Four bucks, a dollar each. Why not? Um, and each one are, are in really good condition. I guess I'll show you the boxes. Here you go. Whammo. Wham. Oh, shit. Don't, don't leave me. Okay. Dead Machine, and uh, the, the, this one. Uh, so there you go. Oh, Solar Christ. That's what it's called. Uh, there you go. Why not? All right, I still collect DVDs. I, I At this point, it's weird. I'm, I'm still collecting DVDs, I'm still collecting Blu-rays, and now I'm collecting 4K Blu-rays. 
collecting video games, collecting Funko Pops. I don't just kill me. Just kill me. <laughs> like I, 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 I have too much shit. All right. Some people don't have anything, and those guys are lucky. Let me tell you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Some people have sticks, and that's it. And you know what? I bet they're way more happier than I am. Got all this fucking fun shit. Jesus. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not kidding. Uh, at the same place, at the same church yard sale thingy, I got for two bucks. It's a Blu-ray. It's actually season one of a show I've heard was it was it was good. It had nice. It had some good writing for the most part, especially since, you know, I mean, that's not surprising, especially since it's uh, from Aaron Sorkin, of course, who did Moneyball and Social Network and all these other movies. Um, of course, he did West Wing, uh, which it says right on the front cover that that's the case. But uh, this is a show called The Newsroom. It's Blu-ray. Uh, first season got for two bucks. So why not? Had to get it. You know, it's complete. Looks good. Had to get it. Added it to the Blu-ray collection. Like I said before, still collect the Blu-ray. Um, next, for a dollar, I got at the same yard sale, uh, Cars on Blu-ray. Uh, it does not come with the DVD. It only comes with the Blu-ray, but whatever, it's a dollar. It's not my favorite uh, Disney um, movie. Also, the Blu-ray is messed up badly, um, but whatever. Um, next is another DVD. I thought this was actually... Um, I thought this was kind of cool that it was there, because I've, I've heard of this documentary. I heard... It's, a really great documentary. Uh, for a dollar, I had to pick it up, put it in my DVD collection. It's called White Light, Black Rain, which is about, of course, the Hiroshima bombings. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> and Nagasaki, of course. Um, I don't know why I say, of course. Like, of course, wouldn't that title tell you? But um, I've heard this is a, a, a really amazing documentary. I never checked it out. So now I have it in my DVD collection. Maybe I'll check it out. I'm not a big documentary guy, and I want to start watching documentaries. Uh, back to Blu-rays, I got for a dollar Spider-Man 3, which some people would say this is the Hiroshima of s superhero movies. So, you know, there you go. I, I thought it was okay. I don't, I don't hate it as much as some people do. But uh, for a dollar, why not? Uh, this is, It's kind of sad. This is the only Spider-Man movie in my Blu-ray collection. Oh, besides my Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. So I got all the worst ones. <laughs> I don't got the good ones. Uh, the reason why is because I want to get one of those box sets, you know. Uh, but, of course, the box sets are expensive and, of course, have three and the other two movies. Actually, there is a box set that only has one, two, and three. Uh, I think that's like 35 bucks. I don't know. It's a little expensive. I'd rather wait until it's on 4K. I, I, but to be honest, like, those movies would probably look, t look terrible in 4K. I, they probably look terrible on Blu-ray, especially the first one. Those stupid-ass CG skeletons whenever he throws one of those pumpkin bombs. Oh, shit. It looked bad back then. I can only assume it looks even worse in, in 1080p high quality. <laughs> I actually kind of want to see it in 4K now. But um, anyway, next one is G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra for a dollar. Couldn't, couldn't pass it up. This one's actually in nice, nice condition. Has uh, the, uh, the cover, too. Uh, look at this. Actually, did I check this one? Yeah, I did. I did. It, it in there. You know, this is there. Whatever. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, but hey, it's a bad movie, but I, I kind of enjoyed it. Snake Eyes is cool in it. Which, it's Snake Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go figure, the one character that doesn't talk is the coolest character in the movie. Um, anyway, more yard sale stuff, but I'm done with movies. Those are all the movies I got from yard sales. Uh, last two things, the only two video game related things I got from, uh, from yard sales this week. First thing is, I thought this was cool. It says three bucks, but I actually paid two fifty for it. And I'll explain why two fifty only 50 cents off. Um, Def Jam Rap Star. And this is actually the bundle, because I do actually have the game. This is the bundle that comes with the microphone and, of course, the game. Here, I'll just show you inside. I'll just show you inside, because I don't feel like taking out the microphone. Actually, you know, I will. Here's the game. I already have the game, so whatever. Maybe I'll sell that extra copy at the yard sale I'm going to. Uh, and here is the microphone. And it is Konami, which is weird to think Konami would publish a game about rapping. I don't know why. You know, the, they're too busy doing the uh, Plachinko machines, or uh, Spachinko, or Jizchinko, whatever the fuck it's called. And you got Konami doing raps, you know? Yo, 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 it's it's the Mike Hizzy. That's me. My name's not even Mike. But I have a mic. I'm white. Well, you know what the fuck you want. But anyway, here you go. Got it. <laughs> I got it. 250 The reason why I got this for 250 is because they actually had something else there. Um, that they were they wanted five dollars for. I was like, uh, it's a little too much, even though it wasn't because 
It's actually worth a little bit. But um, I don't want them to know that. You know, I'm shady. You know, I try to get deals. But uh, I'm trying to get this fucking thing in there. Oh god, see this is why I didn't want to take it out. Oh no, eh, fuck it. Just, just I don't want to see it. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with it later. Uh, but anyway, they had something else there. It's a PC game in the in a big box. One of the big box PC games. Uh, back then when they had huge boxes. Um, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. If you had a PC game ever in your life. Um, and this is a game they were selling for five. They were selling that Def Jam for three. I said, will you take five for both of them? And they were like, yes, good sir. And I was like, yeah, you goddamn right. And they had this Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Which, of course, is a game. Based on the movie. And uh, it's PC. It's in the box. It comes with, I think, everything that it's supposed to come with. It comes with the manual. It comes with the actual game in the CD case. There's not much in here, too. It's just a big, big cardboard insert that's protecting the thing and a black and white manual. So they really could have got away with, like, a smaller box or just selling it with pretty much this because I'm sure they could have easily made a small manual to fit in this uh, jewel case. But they were like, ah, fuck that. Um, now, actually... The reason why I'm doing because I was actually going to wait a couple days uh, to do this Gore's recent pickups. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it right now, because I the reason why I wanted to wait a couple days is because I actually have stuff coming soon from GameStop and a couple other places. The reason why I'm doing it, it so soon is because I actually just sold this. I sold this along with I actually picked up uh, PC copies of Chamber of Secrets and uh, Sorcerer's Stone, I think. Sorcerer Philosophy. Falaf Falafel Stone or whatever it's called. Uh, I can't say Philosopher. There you go. Philosopher Stone. Um, I picked those up before, like like a month ago on PC, and I just bundled that together with this, and I sold it for like 35 bucks. So, you know, pretty good. Considering I think I paid a dollar each for those other games, and then 250 for this. So, profit! And I'm not here to collect PC box games. Especially those big-ass boxes. No, sir. Um, so anyway, I think that's about it for yard sale stuff. Yeah, that's about it. So you know what, let's get to the YouTube stuff, okay? Because I want to give a big shout out to a couple people that sent me stuff. A uh, person that sent me this picture, and a person that sent me a little game here. I'll show the game. Uh, they sent me a game called, on the GBA, No Rules Get Fat. Okay? And, uh, what else? Oh, they sent me, um, I'm sorry, I don't have the box here. It's actually, it's up here. You guys can't see it, but I have a big ass, like, pretty much a wall of Funko Pops. And it's, like, in the middle of this wall, so I didn't really want to take it down. Um, but here's the fake ass one that I got a little while ago. Um, he sent me a real Soldier 76, of course, from Overwatch Funko Pop. This is a fake one that I still keep because he looks okay out of the box. But he is not real whatsoever. He's actually kind of a disgrace. I should melt him down. You can't, you can't see him. I make sure he's not in the video. I don't want to see him. But um, he sent me a real one. So I'm really happy to say that uh, my Funko Pop wall looks really good. Especially since I have one, two. I have like seven Overwatch characters together. And no Tracer. So it's win-win. But he sent me also this game, which I thought was kind of funny. I actually played a little bit of it just to try out uh, one of my uh, uh, Game Boy Advance SPs. Um... That I got like a couple months ago. Not that I didn't try them out before, but I was just like, it was right here. I was like, oh, <laughs> let me try it. It's, it's, it's really shitty, but it's, it's funny nonetheless. So thank you for that. He sent me a bunch of other stuff. If you want to check out what he, what else he sent me, uh, including a, a fanfic, go look up. Uh, of course, the YouTuber's name is Knickknack. Go look up that mystery unboxing. I'm going to put a link in the description um, for that YouTube mystery unboxing. YouTuber mystery unboxing. But, um, the other person that sent me stuff is a really cool guy. His name is Mighty Gazelle. He did Samurai Jack reactions along with me while uh, Samurai Jack Season 5 were, was airing. Um, he does video game Let's Plays. He's doing more reaction videos. I think he's doing uh, Mighty... No, not Mighty. That's his name. Um, My Hero Academia, I think it's called. And uh, Mob Psycho 100, I think it's called. I don't know. I don't watch those shows personally. But... Um, got those so go check him out he's a really cool guy he sent me a couple things and i was really really happy to see what he sent me um he sent me two funko pops these were just on top of my big wall so that's why i i took these down um these are right here he sent me a lara croft one from i think like old the older lara croft games uh tomb raider games oh god i have hiccups now um 
think like around Underworld time, like Legend, I think. That's pretty much what the design is. But um, I guess it could also be just original. I don't know. Uh, but there you go. He sent me that, which was really cool. He actually sent me a message saying, hey, I want to send you stuff. Do you like Tomb Raider stuff? I was like, hell yeah, I love Tomb Raider. And that's why he sent that. But he also sent me this. Look at that. It's Harry Hart from Kingsman Secret Service, which I love this movie. I've seen this movie like a, a dozen times. I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait for the sequel, which comes out in a couple weeks. Uh, September is actually going to be a pretty good month for movies this year, um, which is usually never the case. So... You know, you got it, you got that, you got Mother, you got all these really good looking movies. Um, so anyway, there you go. And he also sent me a game. He actually sent me a game, and this one was really cool. Uh, it was out of the blue, but I thought it was really cool. Uh, a sealed copy of Kingdom Hearts 2 on the PS2. So he sent me all that stuff. That one's sealed. Um, that's really, really cool. I'm not a big fan of Kingdom Hearts 2, but I am a big PS2 collector. So that was really, really awesome that he sent me that. So there you go. Thank you again, Mighty Gazelle, and thank you, Nick Knack, for the really awesome packages. Look, uh, that's pretty much all the stuff that he sent me, uh, Mighty Gazelle sent me. But uh, go check out the uh, Nick Knack unboxing. Go check out the Mighty Gazelle unboxing, too, if you want. Um, link in it is in the description for both of them. Um, anyway, let's get to the next thing. Um, anyway, the next place I went to was GameStop, because GameStop was having a nice little uh, trade-in promotion this last weekend. Actually, for the last couple weeks, but I only took advantage of it this weekend. Uh, where if you trade in six or more games, you'll get 60% extra trade-in credit. You probably saw the video I posted of the stuff I'm selling. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Most A lot of people like those uh, GameStop trade-in videos. I've done a few of them in the past. But um, uh, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff with the trade-in credit that I got. And... Uh, yeah, let's let's talk let's talk about let's talk about it. Come on, sit down, relax. You know, P put your feet up. All right, you know, get a nice beverage, a nice hot one. You know, get comfy. I'm gonna tell you a little story about the shit I got of the games I'm never gonna play. All right, first I picked up was a pre-owned game. The only pre-owned game I pick up, I pick up, I picked up there. Uh, this is Dying Light. The following, I thought this would actually be kind of fun to play because I, I like. I like games with stories and stuff, but sometimes I just want to play a game where I could turn my brain off, listen to a podcast, and not really pay attention. And not that Dying Light doesn't have a story, it does, but it's very minimum. And I've already played this game before on the PS4, you know, so you know I don't need to really pay attention to it. So I kind of want a game just to mess around and stuff, and I mean, still pay attention, you know, you know. But I want, I want to do other things while playing the game. And this will be a game that I definitely do that. So Dying Light, really cool. Uh, that was 25 without tax, too, because I use trade credit, which is really awesome. Uh, next game I got is, uh, I didn't do an unboxing for this one because it's a game that came out a couple weeks ago. So I figured no one would really care. But um, it's a game that people do care about. You're, you can already see it. It's Uncharted. <laughs> the Lost Legacy. Some people were wondering if I got it, and I got it. Uh, I want to start doing more video game videos um, where I talk about video games besides just play them. Uh, and I think I might start with this. I don't know. I just don't play as many video games as I used to. Um, I don't know. Um, look forward to more video game stuff in the future. How that will like how that will uh, end up uh, turning out. I don't know. <laughs> like, will I do many? I don't know. But um, look forward to that maybe. So anyway, Uncharted Lost Legacy. That's really cool. Finally got that. That was 40, of course. Resident Evil Revelations. You probably already saw my unboxing for this. And it was a ridiculous one at that. And uh, this game is the, I don't know, the 28th time I picked it up, I think. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure. Resident Evil 4 and this. These are just games I uh, <laughs> I pick up all the time. I don't know why. Again and again after they get ports. Uh, to be fair, this is only the third port. I could be wrong. Is that true? I think so. Um, no, actually... Uh, yeah, kind of. It came out on 3DS, then it came out on Xbox 360 and PS3, and then I think it came out on Wii U later, but I could be wrong. That might have been the same day as the 360 version. So, um, this is the third port, so maybe fourth. Well, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. I got that again. I do actually want to play that again, because I love me some, uh, Resident Evil now. After Resident Evil 7, brighten my day, or my life, I guess. More, more my life than my day, because I really like that game. That game's a lot of fun, and I've been wanting to go back to it again. Um, also, I should say that um, I did an unboxing for this game, and uh, 
go check it out because I, I, I started it off very well. <laughs> it's only like a two and a half minute unboxing. Go check it out. Um, next is Killing Floor 2, which is a game that I've been wanting to play for a very long time, except it was only on PS4 and uh, PC, and I don't have any PS Plus for PS4, so right there, that's that's done. I don't even want to really buy any until I find a game I actually really want to play online, and I don't play on PC, so I've been waiting for Xbox One version, and it finally came out, so now I got it, and it was a GameStop exclusive, so that's cool. I did an unboxing for that as well. And lastly, I got this for $10. That's right, I got it for $10. This is Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, which of course has my favorite freaking funny-ass fucking rabbits. The Rabbids. Can't wait to play it. I actually will be doing a gore place for this. Most likely that video will be up before this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I most likely went da a lot because that's what the Rabbids do. <laughs> French. I love them. Uh, rest in peace, Jerry Lewis. So there you go, because they, they love Jerry Lewis. By the way, this game. Oh, I got it for 10 bucks because I had a $50 uh, gift certificate from GameStop. Because um, I trade in and buy a lot of stuff from GameStop, so I acquire a, a shit ton of points. And I just used another $50 one. I've used three in the past, like, three months. Um, Injustice 2... Splatoon 2, and now that. So I've saved $150 on brand new games just from GameStop. So thanks. And I didn't, even, I didn't even really do anything for those. Those weren't even like gift cards from people. That was just straight up like because I spent money and did all the stuff I was going to do anyway. Because uh, because I'm just a rad dude, you know? Um, Alright, so next thing I actually got... Uh, that's all the GameStop stuff. Next thing I got was a... Limited Run Games package, which is uh, really exciting because I love me some Limited Run. And this is actually something I've been really excited for ever since they announced they were bringing this to physical. And they were going to do a collector's edition and a, and a couple other special things. I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I made that note. I was like, oh, yeah. I want that. I want my blood. So they were like, okay, I mean, that's weird. But, you know, we're coming out with collector's edition and a couple other things. So... Yeah, I hope you're happy, Gore. I was like, fuck yeah, I'm happy. Oh, I wanted my food. And I'm like, okay, all right. So I picked them up, and the one thing I got right here is for uh, PS4, I'm pretty sure. Well, they, they only really sell PS4 and PS Vita. Pretty sure it's PS4. Uh, a collector's edition of the remaster of Night Trap. Hell yeah. Look how awesome that looks. Look how 80s that looks. You even got like motherfuckers that look like Ghostbusters up there. Oh, no, wait, hold on. They just look like Ghostbusters from the camera viewfinder. They look more like Commando guys. Yeah, I never actually played Night Trap. Um, I, I I watched a playthrough of it a long time ago, um, but I don't really remember much about it. I remember it being very cheesy and it had, uh, of course, like a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, what was I trying? I was I was just thinking something. And I completely oh they they had a bunch of death scenes which were extremely tame. And I know this this game really was controversial back then because I guess some people thought it was about you killing teens, like you controlling the uh, the thing, like the 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 game by making them die or something like that. But I think the whole point of the game is to try to make them not die, stop these ninja goblin looking motherfuckers uh, from killing hot girls like these two. I mean the her that one. Look at her. You don't want her to die. Save her. Save the save save her from this this fucking thing. Um. So I think that was blown out of proportion. I'm sure a bunch of those fuckers brought a. Oh wait. <laughs> this wait. All right. I just want to read the back of this real quick. The next generation of video games on console. Night Trap is the first BD ROM title with continuous full mode i guess blu-ray disc rom title wait what is bd rom yeah no it's i think it's a joke with continuous full motion video and audio it plays like a movie with hours of awesome gameplay get one bd rom packed with sinister scenes and live action video vanishing co-heads bloodless bloodless bodies mysterious intruders that's that's one of the like the segue things and then we're going back into the description of the game as a secret commando for scat special control attack team not even kidding your mission's a time bomb five beautiful co-eds mm, are being stalked in an airy estate hooded intruders are invading the mansion with blood on their minds 
watch the murderous action from hidden cameras in eight different rooms, catch the intruders as they track their victims, make sure you put your mask on before Freddy Fazfinger fingers your butthole. Bear. What was he? Whatever. Miss your chance and the co-eds are lost forever. You gotta play to believe it. That's what it says at the end. There you go. I got that. That was really cool. Along with that, I also got, which I thought was really awesome, a vinyl for the game, which is actually a single. It's just one song, the Night Trap theme, which is very catchy. I thought that was really cool. I had the same cover art. Um, I wish I had this cover art, to be fair. I think the PS4 standard version that people got had this cover, which I wish I had this cover because I love this cover. Um, this is a, an additional thing they had. It's a Blu-ray uh, Blu-ray movie, I guess. It's a documentary from My Life in Gaming. It's Night Trap 25 Years Later, which I'm assuming just talks about the last 25 years of video games and how Night Trap kind of influenced it um, and what happened back then, well, the controversy and stuff. It's supposed to be like an hour documentary. I heard it's pretty good. And uh, I don't know, I thought it was really cool, so I picked it up. There you go. That was awesome. Um, the reason why I love the, I just love this box art. Uh, I can't remember who this is. I think she's like a narrator. I could be wrong. Like, hey, you should do this right or whatever. I think she talks to you. Uh, I don't remember. Again, I really don't. I, I, I should play this. Maybe I'll do a playthrough for this. Um, but I love this cover. She's just like, look at this shit. Fucking ninjas. And uh, I think, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> On the cover, the actual cover actually has these uh, vampires. This is the vinyl, by the way. Uh, they have these vampires there. And she's just pointing at these vampires. She's like, fucking vampires what are you gonna do about this look at it she's just like she's so snotty about it she's like look at this shit you just letting these motherfuckers go i love it she's like the fuck i love it but anyway there you go that's the limited run games purchases Whew. all right so now we're on the final segment which is going to be ebay purchases which of course are the best things i picked up this week which at this point everybody stopped watching so i should maybe start showing off the best stuff in the beginning and then trail off from there but um for the people that are sticking with me and getting through this this freaking video then i uh i apologize for the last 30 minutes i know it's been rough but um that's what happens when you start recording a video at like four o'clock in the morning sometimes you get gold so you, you get like this almost drunken stupor video like it's just this crazy white dude just making dumb jokes and laughing at his own shit uh and then you get like me right now where it's just like uh, i don't know um, so anyway, let's get to the eBay purchases, okay? I ordered three separate things. So three separate orders. Um, let's go on to the first one, which is actually a really, really awesome pickup for me because I love this franchise. I wish this franchise would come back. Supposedly, there is actually a new one coming out for, on, um, I think, iPhone or something like that. It might even be out in Japan, but I could be wrong. Um... It could be. I'm not, I'm not sure. But um, this is one of my favorite RPG franchises out there. I wish it would come back. But uh, I don't know. I'm not going to hold my breath here. Oh, breath? Oh, breath of fire on the SNES. That's what I got right there in the box. It has a protector on it and everything. Uh, the box itself has some damage on it. But it is a very nice looking box uh, for the amount I paid. Which I only paid 36 bucks for this. The... Um, I could be wrong, but uh, a inbox version of this in fairly good condition usually goes for around 70 to 80 bucks. This one I got for 36, um, and that's really awesome. Now I just need Breath of Fire 2, which is actually my favorite of the series um, for the SNES, and then I will have pretty much a complete collection because I have all the other Breath of Fire games. There's only really five, but um, oh, actually, I do still need Breath of Fire 1 on the GBA. Then I'll have every Breath of Fire game. Uh, but anyway, there you go. That's really cool. I guess I could show it off a little bit. Yeah, I'll show it off real quick. Because uh, I have a bunch of games that uh, are in boxes like this. I'll just say that. But um, there you go. You can see it's, it, the, the box is not in great condition. But uh, in, that, in that protector, it makes it look better. There's some damage there. Um, there's some damage there, too. Uh, in the box protector, it makes it look a little bit better. The cart itself looks really nice, though. I will say that. Um, compared to the Castlevania... Uh, oh, by the way, there's no manual on this. I should mention that, which was a little disappointing. But, um, there you go, no manual. But the box itself is in decent enough condition. It's presentable, that's for sure. Um, but the card itself actually came with its own um, little protector, which I thought was really cool, of uh, the guy that sent me that. 
Uh, and the card itself, uh, I'm not going to take it out of that, but you can see it's in pretty good condition. And it does work. I've already tried it. So that's really, really cool. Thanks to that guy for uh, giving me a good deal, man. Um, 36 bucks. That's not including shipping. I paid like 40 bucks, I think, altogether um, after shipping. But that's still a really good deal. Like the card itself usually goes for like 35 40 So for me to get the box with it, no manual, sadly, but hey, this is a game I actually have been wanting. Uh, everything you'll see here is stuff I've actually wanted for a little while, and I just decided, you know what, I, I'm going to start getting some of this stuff, because I, I'm a collector. I'm a collector first at this point. Um, I play video games a lot, don't get me wrong, but I love collecting stuff. I really do, and especially stuff from my past that I, I don't have anymore uh, that I really want, and this is one of them, definitely. Uh, the next thing I picked up is definitely one of them, too, which... I'll show that. It's definitely something I really wanted to uh, have in my collection. Um, the next thing I picked up, and I need to get a box protector for this, um, I got a pretty good deal. I spent 70, I think after shipping, 70, I think $71, I could be wrong, um, for a in-the-box, and I thought it was really awesome, in-the-box Game Boy Advance SP. This is the red one. Look at this. Is that a nice box? These usually go in the box around 60 or 70 so you're probably wondering how I got a good deal. Well, not only is it in really good condition, the box, here's the SP, you can see it in there. Here, I'll take it out too. I'll explain why it's a good deal in a second. Let me just show the insides off. It comes with everything too. It comes with the manuals and the instructions and the other inserts. Um, here, I'll show that first. Here's the inserts. There you go. Here's some of the inserts there. Even has an advertisement for a Game Boy Advance player, which I actually do have. Um, here's some of the inserts. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but it does come with all of them. You know, I want this video to go faster than. Well, it's already longer than last week's video, so I already failed there. But um, whatever, I had way more stuff to show. Come on, get in there, bitch. So really, last week's episode was like, I just took my time. I was like, fuck it, I don't even give a shit about other people's time. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna talk. Talk about the my day, the weather. It's nice. Um, at least over here in New York, it is. Oh my God, I can't get that back in there. All right, screw it. Um, and here's the system itself. It also comes with a charger. Here's the charger. Uh, it, it wasn't in the box when uh, I got it sent, but here's a charger, which is really cool because I actually don't have a Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP charger anymore. I only have like the the third party ones. And here's the system itself. Uh, very limited scratches, a little bit here and there, but not too bad. Looks really nice. The red ones usually go for around 35 40 themselves, so that's really cool. Screen has like no scratches whatsoever, and the buttons and all this stuff looks really nice. So, I hey, if you do not know, SP is like one of my favorite systems out there uh, when it comes to portables. It's probably my favorite one. I just loved it. I really did. It was so small, put it right in the pocket. You know, felt nice to play. It was just, it was great. I love this system, you know. The Game Boy Advance was really cool, but the problem with it was that freaking screen, and this one had that screen, baby. Oh, what game am I playing? Had that lit up screen. Yeah, get fat. No rules. Thanks, Nick Knack. I could turn the screen off, too. Now I can't see shit. That was really an awesome feature. I really love that. Because I'll be playing in the sun or whatever during, like, uh, recess or whatever, and, uh, yeah, good times. Um, it was actually more like gym classes. I don't even think I had recess. I think no, I probably had like maybe a year of uh, like yeah, I was probably in like fifth grade when this came out. I think yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I remember playing it outside while I was at school. It might have been for like gym or some shit. Like I was like, I don't want to run around. Fuck that. And I just had my my SP. Um, I'm pretty sure I got caught. I, I do remember actually getting my um, SP stolen quite a bit. Like, I would always get it stolen, and then uh, my family would have to go and get it back from the kids that stole it. Because uh, I was too much of a pussy to do it myself. Um, which, you know, I mean, come on. Other kids are scary. I don't want to get beat up. So, just get my parents to do it. They, they spend the money. They have to go do it. Um, but the reason why I thought it was a decent deal for what it was, it, it was something I, I really wanted. The reason why I thought it was a decent deal is because I, I have a couple of SPs that I do want to actually sell that I got from uh, 
from yard sales in the past that I got them for really cheap. So I wanted to sell those. So I'm gonna sell those and make some of my money back. But also I got sit in that in that sale for the inbox uh, SP. I also got six inbox GBA games. Now none of these are really worth anything. They usually range from around five to ten dollars, and that is including the box. But if I could probably bundle all these together and sell it for like 25, 30 bucks. Um, first is Sorry Aggravation and Scrabble Jr. in the box. Next is Over the Hedge. Remember that game? This guy had like shovelware. Uh, I guess he was just like, I love shovelware and he'll buy it. Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed in the box. Monopoly in the box. These are all garbage titles, but some people buy them. Obviously, I bought them. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Texas Hold'em Poker. Uh, one thing I will say is that he said he had a listing of two other GBA games. I think it was like Namco Museum and there was like a five-pack game like that had like Battleship and a couple other games. He said in the description the Battleship and whatever, that's not included. But he did say the Namco Museum was included. It just didn't have the game, but it had the box and manuals and stuff. No game, but the box and all that stuff was there. But for some reason, I didn't get it. So I have to message him and see what we could do about that. Like if I'll get a little bit of money off or something. Because that's, I don't know. You know, I still paid $70 for it. Um, not my fault that no one else bought it for the prices he had before. Because he did have it for, like, higher prices before. Ain't my fault. You know, <laughs> send me the shit that you sold me. Um, so, that was really cool. I could probably sell those inbox games for around 20 25 maybe 30 if I'm lucky. Um, so, last thing I picked up was actually two more GBA games uh, in the box. Actually, that's not true. I... I bought these two GBA games box and manual only because I had the games themselves uh, so I can complete them. The first one was Metal Slug Advance and this is I think complete. It's either complete or it's really close to it. It has the manual I think it has one of the inserts. I think it might be missing like one or two more of the inserts but um, it is complete. The box is in really nice condition. Really nice condition, and of course, I had the game, so the game is in there. I guess let's see if I can open it. <sighs> I don't know if I want to really open it, okay. I, I, I think I got it. All right, so here's the uh, what's inside. Okay, there's only a manual, so it's definitely not complete, but here's what's inside. There's the game, it's an official game, too. It ain't no freaking bullshit one not one of those fake ones and here's the manual so it's not complete but a complete box copy of this usually goes for around 80 to 90 dollars uh i got my cart at a yard sale for a dollar and then i paid i think um i think it was uh well ebay was having like a deal thing where if you spend over 75 dollars you get 15 dollars off so i bought this the next thing i'm going to show you and breath of fire together in one order um even though it's from separate places, um, but you can still add them into one order before you, of course, pay for them. Um, and I think I have them all for 60 so I don't really know how much I originally got this for, but uh, it was a box that was going for 30 bucks. So I, I, let's just make it sound good for me. I got this for 15 bucks. So I got my cart for a, like a dollar, I think. So 16 bucks, I got it near complete. And I would say this goes for around 60 or 70 without the other inserts. So pretty good right there. And then the next thing I got, I, I had to get this. I know it's not everyone's favorite game in the series, but I actually did really enjoy this game. Had to get the box, and it also comes with the manual. Pretty sure it's the same like the other uh, for Metal Slug, where it doesn't have all the inserts. But I had to get this. This is Sword of Mana, or Mana, however you say it. However you say it. I say Mana, but Mana is fine too, I guess. Whatever. But um, I got that, and it is actually, in my opinion, a really good, uh, really good continuation. Well, not continuation, but another good game in the series I guess and we haven't had another one in a very long time and they actually just announced a Secret of Mana um, uh, remake coming out so that's really really cool so hopefully that brings the series back because I've actually missed it even though I haven't played every single one of them there's only a few really but um, uh, I would really like to get back into the Mana series because that was a that and Breath of Fire two of my favorites so there you go that is all the stuff I got this uh this week I got a, a Vance SP in the box I got Breath of Fire in the box got Metal Slug you know I got a bunch of really good stuff a few Blu-rays I got Night Trap I got a bunch of Xbox One games I got the Rabbids game I got yeah I got a bunch of shit so this was a long video I know I'm sure not many people have watched it but you know I hope you enjoyed it so there you go thank you and until next time 
Goodbye. Mwah. Love you. Love you. Okay? Thank you for watching. Okay? And uh, if you didn't watch the whole video, get fucked. Get fucked. I'm just kidding. But they're not, they're not listening anyway, so I can say whatever. Fuck you. Ha! Huh. You suck. I banged your mom. I can say whatever. I don't give a shit. So anyway, there you go. Thank you. Until next time, goodbye.